All right, Michael. Time for the Mentor Mitsubishi Kia Golf Tip of the Week. Both of us on the signature hole this week were 60, 70 yards. You know, you looked at me, Mike looked at me and said, yeah, you know, what do I do? It's, I can't hit my, my lob wedge or my sand wedge far enough and my pitching wedge too much club, you know, so I'm kind of stuck. It's kind of a stuck yardage. It's like a, not a full shot, right? Mm -hmm. And you were kind of confused. Yeah. I, you've been confused before. But you look very confused during that <laughs> shot. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you something today. All right. We're going to make it better. Stand right here for it. Huh? Worst thing that you can do, Mike, and, and I see you do this sometimes because you're a full swinger, is worst thing you can do with this shot, I have a sandwich which I hit about 100 yards, is to take that thing all the way back like a full shot and try to slow down on the way down because when you do that, you're usually going to hit behind it and decelerate. You heard that word before, decelerate, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that ball almost went in, by the way. But what we want you to do, Mike, there's two ways to control the distance here, okay? One is going to be by choking down a little bit. If you want to short, you won't hit it as far if you choke down. So maybe you should have taken that pitching wedge on the signature hole and, and choked down on the club a little bit, and it wouldn't have gone as far. Okay. Or number two, if some people don't like to choke down because you got to stay down with the shot, and you might, you know, hit it a little thin. Number two would be you control it by the length of your backswing. You don't take it all the way back. You know, you take it, and what I try to think of is I'm going to try to take it back by, the, like, the clock. Okay, Mike? So what I'm going to do is, what I'm trying to take it back is, if I want to hit a 40-yard shot, okay, I'm going to take it back to 3 o'clock. And hit it, okay? If I want to hit a 50-yard shot, I'm going to take it back to maybe 2 o'clock. Two or one, maybe even. And accelerate through and hit it. That if I want to hit a 70 yard shot, you know, with the clock, it's going to get pretty far up there. It's not full for me, but, you know, almost up to that probably one o'clock range somewhere around in there. And hit it. And you'll see, Mike, all those distances will be different on those shots. All by the way that I took it back. Set up one. Throw a ball down there for you. Now what you have to do, and it's very important though, Mike, is you have to practice this to get to know your distances. So go ahead and set up to it. For you, keep that weight nice and still. We're not moving around a lot on this shot. Now what Mike wants to do is, okay, I'm just going to take it back to 3 o'clock, maybe 3, 3.30 or 4 o'clock and hit it. Try it. See, that was the one right there, and that's what we want Mike to get away from. As you saw, Mike took that back pretty far. He knew it was too far for the distance and slowed down. Try it again. Set up to it. Three, maybe two o'clock right in here, and then accelerate through it. Acceleration is the key in this tip. Good, good. See, that time Mike didn't take it back as far. He accelerated through it. He made good contact, right? Mm -hmm. But again, as I tell my little buddy every single week, Practice practice, 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 practice. And this is, you need this more practice on yeah. this more than anything. This is feel, you know, and you have to figure out how far it is. Of course, you got to be in the fairway, too. And you got to be in the fairway. That helps sometimes. No, you can hit it out of the rough. No, I know. Shot. All right. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Go to the range, right? <laughs> Matter Mitsubishi Kia, golf tip of the week. <laughs> Trivia time. Norwalk, Ohio is also the birthplace of which.